Hello and welcome to more World War II 172 scale. Uh, we're, today we're looking at some of my Panzer Grey Early War uh, PZ2 Panzer II uh, in Grey. Some of these are models I built out of die cast model kits. They have less parts, but they're hard to kind of put together because you've got to use the crazy glue, the silenite type of glue. And some of them aren't quite done. And a couple of them, these two here, were pre-made. Uh, <clears throat> these were either Dragon or maybe they were Hobby Master. Can't remember all the names and everything anymore. Way too many vehicles and stuff. <clears throat> uh, take a look at these first. See a nice uh, layer of dust on here. You got the ubiquitous block box that the Panzers have. Uh, with Jack. These have the 20 millimeter and a coaxial machine gun, MG-34. A nice gray paint shop, number, the Balkan cruise on there, the cross. And then this one's, I believe, even uh, supposed to be even earlier war with just at the big white uh, cross. They tried to discovered that that was an aiming point, uh, so they usually started to do away with making one that big, and sometimes they even covered it over on in the field. Let's see, this one's nice. It's got their tools. It's a big thing for the antenna to go in. Yeah, these were probably hobby master die cast built uh, we'll take a look at these next but we'll look, look, take at this one next this is different uh, this is a, a rare they call it a flamingo and it's got uh, a different wheel system than the others it's got a very just a small like a machine gun in there, very small turret. But this was, it had two flame projectors. This is one of the types of flame tanks the Germans created. This is, a, you can see, it's a soft metal die cast. Never remember the names of these because they usually buy them and they're in little uh, little packets and just with a little header guard, card and very poor little scrimp of uh, directions on how to put the parts together. Usually they're made in England. That's that. Let's take a look at this one. This one's extremely heavy metal. Added a, a little bit of stowage on there. And then I have a couple of PZ-2s that are uh, cut for the desert, but that's something different. This is my Panzer Grey. This one's just been uh, basic painted, and I never got back to it. And I had found a figure that could fit in there. It's nice with the headphones and everything. Looks like he's got a very nice head sculpt. Uh, you guys out there that can do great paint jobs on such a small scale, uh, make that look really good. one all heavy this one has some of its uh, basic decals on there a little bit of color on the exhaust and then this one different type of uh, lid this is the earlier and you can see also the shape of it was a little different. It needs to have the details uh, all painted on this one. All right, so that's um, early war for uh, invasion of Poland and the Balkans, invasion of France, 1940. And then they were still using some PZ-2s early on in Russia in 41 and the 42 
and then they'd start switching over to the sand and then the camouflage that we'd see. The PZ-2s would be phased out and they did have a later one. I think I did that already. The uh, a late version was called the Lynx and they did a completely different uh, uh, wheel system on that. Alrighty, until next time, more uh, Tank Talk, uh, World War II 172. Thank you.